Hello viewers, my name is Today Dada. I'm a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders family based in Luton. Today we are reflecting on the topic commitment, commitment. And our text is taken from 2 Samuel chapter 23 from verse 15 to 17. And David said with longing, Oh, that someone would give me a drink of the water from the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. So the three mighty men broke through the camp of the Philistines, drew water from the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate, and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he would not drink it, but poured it out to the Lord. And he said, Far be it from me, O Lord, that I should do this. Is this not the blood of the men who went in jeopardy of their lives? Therefore he would not drink it. These things were done by the three mighty men. Our memory verse for today is taken from Philippians chapter 1, the 21st verse. For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Our reflection for today, interestingly, dedicated means to be exclusively allocated to or intended for a particular purpose. I want you to take notice of the word exclusively. This means that if we are committed to God, we must be prepared to serve Him exclusively. Another definition of commitment is an engagement or obligation that restricts freedom or action. Apostle Paul introduced his letter to the Romans by saying, This letter is from Paul, a slave of Christ Jesus, chosen by God to be an apostle and sent out to preach his good news. He called himself a slave of Christ Jesus. A slave's duty is to do whatever his master says without question. Our commitment to God, therefore, should restrict our freedom of action to only those things that are allowed or instructed by Him. A pastor once shared that when she wakes up in the morning, she tells God, I'm awake and reporting for duty. What are your instructions and assignments for today? How many of us can truly say that we have this attitude to our work with God? Do we only give God a thought when we are in trouble or do we start our day by reporting to our commander-in-chief asking for what his plans are for our day? That is commitment. When someone is committed to something, they are not easily persuaded otherwise. Commitment takes Tenacity because we have to stick with something, even when it may not make sense. For example, if you have committed to play for a particular football team, and then they have a bad season, and, and they are losing, does that mean that you, are, you, you will leave the team? Of course not. You will do everything that you can to turn it around and make your team a winning team. Why then? Do we give up so easily on God when things don't seem to be going our way instead of patiently waiting for the victory that has been promised us? Or why do we not stick with our church leaders and make the church to be a winning church instead of leaving for another church because we don't like the music or the ties the pastor wears? David had some men who stuck by him even when things were not glittery. At the time of our Bible reading today, David was hiding in a cave, surrounded by Philistines, when he wished he could have water to drink. These three men that were with David broke through the Philistines and got water for David, risking their lives. That is commitment, my brothers and my sisters. If only we could be that committed to God, where we will do whatever he tells us to do without questioning, knowing that victory has already been won. You are serving a living and a, and a victorious God. Your commitment and service will never be in vain. I encourage you, get, commitment, uh, get committed in the things that the Lord has called you into. Get committed in the church that God has set you. And as you do that, you will see the hand of God move mightily in your life. A prayer point for today. Father, help me to be committed to you like no one else in my generation. That God should help you to be committed like no one else in your generation. And as you do that, may the Lord grant you that grace that you need. 
in Jesus' name. I don't know whether you've picked up a copy of the Open Heavens devotional for this year, 2013. If you haven't, I encourage you to please pick one up. You can contact them at the Redeemed Christian Church of God Central Office, or you uh, get in touch with, uh, with them at uh, OHTV. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to get a copy from there. Bless people with it, and let us all work with the Lord together in this new year as we experience new things. The Lord bless you. Have a productive day in Jesus' name. Bye for now.